All right, this is Edith, Instructional Innovation Trainer at Klamath Community College, and in this video, I'm going to go over how you can bring in documents into the Smart Notebook program so that you can do annotation within a classroom for your instruction. Um, you can do this with a PDF, a Word document, an Excel document. PowerPoint is a little bit different, but I do want to note that with the Smart Board LEDs types of boards in the classroom now, you don't necessarily have to do this procedure. You can actually open up the document in Word or in Excel or PowerPoint or in a PDF, whatever the case may be, um, and do annotation now that way. But for some, you may want to just have it available for you to do in the notebook program because you need some of the other attributes that are available. So I'm going to go ahead and open a Word document. And I'm going to select this one. So I'm going to go to File, Print, and then I'm going to select a printer. So I'm going to go down towards the bottom. These are your PDF, you know, just the odd types. They're not actual printers. They're just kind of an odd type of printing, like to PDF or to the document writer, whatever the case may be. But in this case, we're going to use the Smart Notebook document writer. So I'm going to click on that. Once I click on Print, I'm going to get a new dialog box so I'm going to go ahead and do that so you can see what it looks like. And then I have three choices on how I want to print my document. So I can print to the Smart Notebook program, which is what I'm going to do for this video. The other functions I will do in the classroom environment when I'm doing a training because it it's a little bit different and it may be something that you want to use or don't want to use so I will also be recording one of my training sessions so if you can't attend the training session you can actually watch the video online so sharing to the notebook player that is so if you're using the cap IQ side of the smart LED board that you can actually not have to sign into a computer you can actually just take a flash drive and pop it in there or open it through the app that way or you can create a link to this document so if you want to share it with somebody else who has SmartBoard um, you can do that or if you just want to be able to access it from anywhere that you have an internet uh, wherever you have internet access but for this video we'll go ahead and print to the smart, smart Notebook and when you click on that you can see that the Smart Notebook opens up its own program and there's my document I can annotate on top of the document it works definitely a lot better when you have the smart board pens but you know it is available for you and the other thing I can do actually is I can go in here and use the full screen so that I avoid all of those things that may be distracting in the classroom and this right here gives me all the the um, features that are available at the top of the board here and when I'm done with that I can click on this icon here and it takes me back to the regular screen or I can hit escape. So, ne so next I'm going to go ahead and open up a PowerPoint in the Smart Notebook program. So with the new LED Smart Boards, this is not necessarily a step you need to take but it is one that's available to you. With the LED smart boards you can actually open the PowerPoint in its own program and you will have access to the pen tools and to do annotation there as well but if you choose to do it in the notebook program this is how you would do it. You would go to file import and you can see I already have um, a PowerPoint presentation ready to go. Now you have some other additional types of files that you can open. We don't use any Promethean files, which is a different type of uh, interactive whiteboard, nor the XML paper specification. Uh, if you do use another interactive whiteboard, perhaps you're in another location or did training somewhere with a different type of uh, interactive whiteboard, you may save the file, have saved the file as an IWB. And so you can open it here, but for this video, we're going to stick with just a regular PowerPoint. I'm going to click open. One thing I do want to point out is that the conversion process does take a little bit of time. So I would recommend that if you are going, planning on converting it into the notebook program, that you do it ahead of time, especially if it's a large one. This one was kind of a small one, so it's not as big of a deal. So I can actually show this as a slideshow. Um, unfortunately, my first slide for some reason is kind of wonky, but I can go to uh, full screen.
and there's my video or my PowerPoint and I can click here get my pens and I can do annotation on here well it's supposed to let me do that there we go so now I've annotated um, if I don't want to do this anymore I can click on here to get out of it but I can also go through my slides this way so it's like having a slideshow it doesn't work with the clicker that you would normally use for the slideshows if you have one of those. So to get out again is to exit the full screen and then I'm back to my PowerPoint program right here. So if you have any other questions, comments, concerns, or need any additional information, please feel free to contact me, Edith uh, Warden on Skype for Business. My email address is warden at clamacc.edu and you can always call my extension 340. Thank you and have a great day.